from our College of Information Science. Her advisor is Dr. Brian C. O'Connor. Her presentation is titled, Cognitive Authority Relationship. Future Dr. Johnson, the floor is yours. Drink the Kool-Aid has become a popular phrase nowadays, but it has its origin in one of the largest mass suicide slash murder events in the history of America. Now, it began in 19 in the spring in the fall of 1978 when 918 souls perished in Guyana at the command of cult leader Jim Jones. Now, I often wonder if the relationship between those who perished and Jim Jones began out of a need for information. Because when we need information, we go to those who we think know what they're talking about. We go to those who we think have information beyond that which we ourselves present, uh, possess. This, my friends, is exactly what uh, Patrick Wilson in 1983 calls cognitive authority. My research addresses the gap in, in research that handles quali quantitative models of that relationship. I studied uh, 316 records of those involved in cognitive authority relationships using linguistic analysis and statistics. Now, the findings found the same 45 statistically significant relationships amongst all of the cognitive authority subgroups that I studied. There's studies out there that support that the words we use when we speak, the words that we use when we write, have a linguistic fingerprint. I developed the word print classification system to transport my findings into a model of cognitive authority. And that model is the primary interest segment word print. And you'll see it, it is the, the uh, multicolored model that's cascading up the screen. Now the R stands for a relationship. The next six um, characters represent types of word usage patterns that were found amongst the information seekers and the cognitive authorities. The last five represent patterns that were found amongst the information seeker only. And they come from a variety of types. Now the repetitiveness is because each type has several micro word usage patterns. The application for the word usage, the word print, is that uh, national security could use these word prints to identify persons of interest who match known terrorists. So you see, the cognitive authority relationship word print has a lot of potential to make a positive impact. 